So it's about an honor to guess. My uh, speech this evening will be on guns. Now the reason I'm going to speak about guns is it's very common. And actually, just what, yesterday or last couple days, big news, a nine-year-old girl by accident shot a shooting instructor with a newsie. Now, you might say, what the heck was she doing, a nine-year-old with an Uzi killing the instructor? Well, it was an accident, right? She didn't do it intentionally. She was at a gun range, an actual gun range, professionals there to help. It's for tourists, the way I understand it. So people pay, they come, they shoot whatever kind of gun you want, machine gun or whatever you want, you get there and poof, off you go. So I guess she fired one shot, no problem. But then when she squeezed the trigger, brrr, they shot, and I guess one bullet went this way and killed the instructor. Now, of course, in the news, you're going to hear everybody saying, oh, my God, what is a nine-year-old doing with a gun? Well, I already explained it to you. She was at a gun range. It was supposed to be controlled. And I'm sure to an extent it always is. Every day they go out there and they have people and they do their shooting and everything goes no problem. But in this particular case, something went wrong. Just like anything else, sometimes things go wrong and you can't control it. It just happens. So now there's the big debate again. Well, how old should someone be before they can handle a gun? Well, you guys know we live in California, which is the worst state you could possibly live in when it comes to gun laws. Now, if you're the average citizen, you're going to say, no, they have the best laws because I feel most protected. No. For someone who owns guns and believes in protecting yourself, it is the worst state to live in. But that being said, everybody saying nine years old, what the heck are they doing with the gun? So here's my question for you, the audience. What do you think is an age that people children, teenagers, what have you, should be able to first have access to a gun. What do you think? I think it really depends on what type of weapon you're talking about. Okay. Can you use it? All right. For me, like so, a, a Uzi for yeah. a nine-year-old, I would yeah. say definitely not. Like, okay. I don't agree with I that. I think okay. basic weapons, like, say just like a normal yeah, like or a something, something. Mm -hmm. like at least maybe 12, 13, 14. Okay. So 12, 13, he's in, in, with a screening process and a 16-year-old. Oh boy, a screening process now. I like yeah, they shouldn't even be able to hold it unless I like 16 process. year old, yeah, because then you're stronger. Yeah. I mean, you don't know their background either because okay. of that particular person. Well, they now, it's interesting though, because he brought something up. When I went back to the fact that California is one of the worst states when it comes to this kind of stuff, well, they already have so many hoops you got to jump. They're even trying to make it tighter for even buying ammunition. If you want to buy ammunition, forget about getting on the internet because they're not going to allow it anymore. You're going to have to go into the gun store, present an ID, do a fingerprint, do a background check before you can even buy ammunition. So here's my question. Do you think criminals are out there doing that? No. They're getting their stuff other ways. But the honest person who's trying to do things right and having the right to protect their family has to jump all these hoops to satisfy some jokers up in the state and up in the federal level. Okay? So my opinion, going back to the original question, what age should someone be before they can handle a firearm, it really depends, right? When I was a kid, my father had firearms all the time. So I must have been five, six, seven years old, and I was shooting again, 4th of July, New Year's, in East LA, it's okay, bad man. Nobody's calling the cops. <laughs> no problem, we're in the backyard. Yeah, that's okay, yeah, yeah, boom, 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 boom. And I was a kid, no big deal. So I grew up around guns. I'm very comfortable with guns. You can put anything in my hands and I'm gonna fire it. No big deal. But I will tell you, even I took my kids to shoot, and the first time I took them, I think they had a little bit of a problem with the higher calibers because they have a strong kick. And you're right, they shouldn't be able to handle all of them. But I just hate the idea of restricting more, more of what's going on with people's lives. I just don't like it. But I think there should be some common sense discretion uh, you know what, can you handle it? Let's say, poof, oh, that was too much. Or, oh, you know what, you could handle it. Let's put, keep it on semi so it doesn't get out of control on automatic or something. There should be some good supervision. Apparently that was going on, but somehow something got away from them. Yeah. But guns, they belong in our society. Now, some people might say, no, they don't. I think we should take it from everybody, and just the government and law enforcement should be the only ones carrying them. I don't believe that. No, I don't believe it. 
I think we should have the right to bear arms. That's the way our founding fathers wanted it. I don't want to lose that right. I have someone that I know right now that came from England. Do you know why they left that country? Because of that. Because their rights were so restricted. Over there, they have taken all the firearms away. You have 85, even the police run around with a little stick and a water bottle, I guess, <laughs> right? They don't carry guns. So you think the general public has guns? No. So he said, forget it. He came over here, brought his whole family because they don't want to be put in a position where they can't protect themselves. Now, getting back to a small kid. What if in the middle of the night, get into this worst case scenario, there's burglars, intruders, there's a mob of people, and somehow you're incapacitated. Maybe somebody already shot you, maybe someone stabbed you, maybe, 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 maybe. Wouldn't it be nice if one of your kids can handle a firearm properly and defend the home, defend the family? Absolutely. So there's definitely a good place to be able to have the kids have access to it. Probably don't want to put a grenade launcher or a bazooka on your shoulder, but they should have access to some firearms. And uh, I think we should all just be careful with firearms, but it should be okay. And this debate about take them away from everybody because there was one accident for a child is foolish. Foolish. That's fine.